What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and today's video my friends is all about farming for the Bighorn on Legendary Difficulty. Now one thing I want to say out of full transparency right as I start this thing is that nothing has changed in regards to this farming method. I put out a video on Christmas Eve of last year and this is the exact same farming method that I highlighted in that video but for some reason over the last few days I've been getting messages from people asking does this method still work, asking other questions about targeted loot and you know directives things like that so today I wanted to answer a few of those questions now if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well and remember we are currently having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5 to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced on October 2nd of this year the first thing I want to address in the video is how to actually get the weapon and the only way to pick this thing up is on legendary difficulty which means you can farm in the summit or you can farm any of the legendary strongholds and the great thing is is with title update 16 there will be a few more strongholds as well so a few other options to pick this thing up. Now the game has also mentioned that they will be adding different difficulties to count down further down the line. Now that may happen in title update 16 I'm not sure if it's going to be legendary difficulty or not that may be the case and if so that will be another way you can try to get this weapon but as of right now once again to be clear this can only be farmed at legendary strongholds or in the summit on legendary which is exactly what I'm showing you here now for me this is where I've had the best luck using this farming method and the method I'm using is a floor 10 boss farm I've highlighted this method in the past I'll go over it really quick to give you just a fast breakdown so the way it works is this you get yourself to floor 10 of the summit and as most of you know by now that is a boss farm now all I'm trying to do is take out the named enemy once I do I pick up the loot and immediately fast travel back to the lobby now what that allows me to do is then come back to floor 10 over and over and over again as many times as I want to farm a named enemy and to be clear if you clear the four completely it will take you to floor 11 which you do not want so you need to make sure you leave at least one NPC alive before you take off and this is exactly where the grind begins my friends and one thing I recommend you know all of the footage you're looking at is from yesterday and from this morning and actually my second attempt this morning I did get the big horn to drop however it's very important to mention I tried maybe 40 50 attempts and nothing dropped whatsoever not one exotic nothing I mean it was just really not the best of loot and again you know my focus is on getting the big horn so one thing I recommend is if you're going to use this method do it in 30 minute increments that way you don't completely drive yourself crazy which now brings me to answering some of the questions you've recently sent the channel. And the first one is from Jameson702, and his question was, you know, do you only have to farm name bosses or can this drop from hunters and rogue agents, things like that? Now, in my experience, I've only had it drop during my gameplay when I've taken out a named enemy. However, I have heard from some of you out there saying you've gotten it from hunters, regular NPCs on legendary, because remember, in theory, on legendary difficulty, any NPC can drop an exotic at any time whatsoever. So if you've gotten it from a rogue agent or a hunter or whatever it may be, please let me know in the comment section as I want to give people hope that it can drop from multiple NPCs. The next question I want to answer has to do with if this weapon is in the general loot pool and the answer is yes. And the reason I bring this up is that there's still a misconception out there that you will have had to have had this weapon in your inventory at one point in order to get it to drop for yourself if you're farming on your own and that is not the case. So every single person that jumps into legendary difficulty has the exact same odds of picking this thing up. And what it really boils down to sometimes is just luck. I mean, you're going to have good sessions and bad sessions and what's unfortunate with this weapon I know people that are able to get it within their third or fourth attempt. And on the flip side of that coin, I also know people that have tried hundreds of times. And they've been trying to get the Bighorn since the Bighorn came out. They haven't had any luck. And my recommendation in regards to that is use random matchmaking, join a group, and let the other agents know what you're looking for. One of the best things about this game is you have so many people that are willing to share things that they already have. So let them know what's up. And chances are, if they do get the Bighorn, they will share it with you. Now the next two questions I'd like to answer has to do with what floor you choose in order to do this farm as well as you know picking directives, targeted loot, things like that. Now when we talk about the threat scaling, as most of you know the higher you climb in the summit means that when you get to those 10th floors, so every 10th floor you're going to face bosses and you know and 
as you get to floor 70, 80, 90, things like that, you're facing multiple named bosses when you get there. However, for me, as someone who typically plays on their own, I'm much more efficient farming floor 10. However, you could just be a beast on legendary and be able to clear floor 90 in no time whatsoever. So that is another good option. But once again, to be clear, regardless of which boss floor you choose to farm, I don't care if it's 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, it doesn't matter. You need to make sure that you leave at least one NPC alive. That way, when you reload back into the game after you've gone back to the lobby, you'll be able to farm the boss over and over again. Moving on, I'd now like to talk about targeted loot and using directives. Now, for the footage you're looking at, I just did regular legendary difficulty, no directives whatsoever, and I chose the assault rifle as the targeted loot. However, I've heard from so many of you out there saying you are farming for a brand set or a gear set or, you know, just a different weapon, and the big horn randomly drops. And again, that is because it is exclusive to legendary difficulty, which means that it can drop regardless of which targeted loot you've chosen. Now, from my own personal gameplay, I've only only gotten the big horn to drop when I've chosen the AR as my targeted loot. However, when I do that, I put the big horn in the same category as the chameleon or the capacitor, so in theory, one of three could drop at any time. Finally today, I want to talk about directives, and remember, directives only increase the chances of a certain targeted loot dropping. It has nothing to do with the actual quality of the loot itself. So if you are looking for ARs and you can farm with more directives, that can obviously be more beneficial because it increases the chances of assault rifles dropping, but you can see here, I don't have any directives on. This is from this morning, got the big horn, was totally stoked because I was completely, I was just hell bent on making this video for you today, so I'm really thankful. I didn't have to spend the whole day farming. Most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about having this channel is the family that we have here. I mean, I received a message from Dava117, a message from Jay, a message from Treb91 over the last few days. And they were mentioning, first of all, they were asking if the method still works. Secondly, they were letting me know that it worked for them and they pick up the weapon. And that's what this channel is all about. It's helping out other gamers. So if you have any other farming methods you want to pass along, please let me know in the comments section down below. And remember, everyone's luck is different. I mean, I've talked to certain people who've only gotten it from, you know, uh, strongholds. And for me, I've done so many strongholds, I have not gotten one exotic one time. I don't mean just the big horn, I mean an exotic. So everyone's going to have different luck, but as always, if I can help out, please let me know. One of the reasons I think a lot of people are finally trying out legendary content for the first time and trying to get items such as the big horn is because of the expertise system, they've been able to strengthen their weapons, their armor, things like that, so they have much more confidence going into this game mode. But as I said earlier, if you happen to be just getting into countdown, do not hesitate to use random matchmaking or call for backup. There are so many agents who use the shepherding system because they want to help new gamers out. So again, do not hesitate because there are so many people that want to help you farm exactly what you're looking for. With all that being said, I want to take a moment as always and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.